Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. You all have been incredibly helpful with uh, helping me learn guitar. I just learned power chords. Well, I learned what they are and I learned three of them. Um, so uh, then I started doing all the different hand positions. I just did those randomly. I probably need a better approach. Um, but before I start, First Kill graphic novel, link is in the description. So um, I was just going to do this as a community post and then I was going to do it as a normal Tom King, uh, not a recommend type of video. <coughs> <coughs> but then something amazing happened. Now, throughout the history of the channel, there has always been the hope that people would get better. That people would get better or that they would leave one of the problems is is that um comics is seen as being entry level to media in the military especially the infantry lots of people when they get out they want to go work in law enforcement specifically uh federal law enforcement fbi stuff like that and it's difficult to get into but it's really very easy to get hired by the Bureau of Prisons. The benefit to that is that once you get hired by them, you are in the system and it's easier to apply to other agencies. Um, and that's what I feel like a lot of people saw and continue to see comics as. Oh, I really want to work in Hollywood, but I don't know how but I have this fashionable identity or I can just lie and pretend to be demi bisexual and I'll get into comics, but I really want to get to this other place. And then what happens is some of these people, they never get there or they get there. They immediately fail and they go back. Some turds never flush. Um, so <laughs> um, we just get stuck with them forever. This is the only place. Like when you watch TV, you don't see some random guest star from The Love Boat. Like there is an arc, there is a trajectory, there is an end to a Hollywood career. If you're just some piece of shit trouble starter in comics, you are here until you die. Like we are never rid of you. So it behooves me for people to get better. Now the main story... Um, by the way, I believe the artist is basing, uh, this off of, a uh, bodybuilder named Vladi Galagon. There was something about this body type. It feels like specific. And then I saw this bodybuilder. It's like, yep, that's it. <coughs> so <coughs> this has been absolutely terrible. And in fact, my original title was going to be Wonder Woman number three, and then it was going to say Tom King writes backwards, but I was going to write that backwards. I thought it was very cute. I thought it was very clever. Um, but, uh, and you see, he just loves his voice. Like the first, like, I don't know, five pages of this are just the villain narrating his, God, everything's about like, mommy is so strong. That's what everything mainstream Although it's kind of a trick question because Tom King is a walking Elseworlds. At some point, everyone just kind of realized it's like, yeah, he doesn't write anyone in character. So technically, none of his stories count. Like his whole thing with the Amazons being oppressed and persecuted, like it was just done in the mainstream DC continuity, what, like a year and a half ago? But this is like... You know, it's like Batman TV show, Batman movie. Nobody has to explain why they are in different uh, timelines. So everything is written backwards from a punchline. Like, um, so he wants to have like a, like, oh, what if there was like this snooty guy, uh, like a concierge or something like that. There's so many people on comics. There used to be four or five people making a comic. Now there's 20. But he wants to write things like backwards from like, 
What if there was a snooty guy at an office and he was being so rude to the woman? You know, because she's a woman. And then it was Wonder Woman. He didn't know. Well, Wonder Woman is huge in this in this version of her. She's massive. Uh, she's probably larger than The Rock. When people are that large, it's not just their presence. Like, there's, even if it's a pleasant scent, there's a scent. Like, there's just so much flesh. There's no way there's, there's this much flesh flesh within like two feet of you and your other senses are not picking up like holy shit is there a bear near me like why is there so much like natural scent suddenly in this antiseptic uh lobby so like this is this is like a tom king joke the man he's a man (laughs) but then like he doesn't know it's wonder woman so then when he sees it's wonder woman he's like whoa 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 like that's that's the joke and then we get this scene that is, uh, I mean, the art is good, but uh, holy shit. So I am usually, actually almost always, very, very lenient on military uniforms as they are drawn in comics. It's a visual medium. Military uniforms uh, often have a lot of intricate details and they are different for different ranks, different services, different occupations in the military I don't expect the average person especially if they're from overseas to understand that but there is something about old Delgado's uniform that like every part of it bothers me more than the other part of it Um, so this is the villain I forget his name I'm just gonna call him white men are evil and so like every scene is five times longer than it needs to be. So the whole point is that this is one of the Marines who is in that special task force, MAGTAF, whatever you want to call it, to take Wonder Woman down. Do I even need to say how stupid the storyline is? There was one bar fight where there was a bunch of deaths, and then suddenly no Amazons are left in the country, to which you say, okay, fine, they're all here on visas. A bunch of them tried to stay like they were like, Venezuelan refugees because they didn't want to go back to Paradise Island. It, it's, he was trying to do a bit about like refugee crises and it was just awful. But uh, in the second issue, the entire U.S. military essentially attacked her and Mommy's strong, so nobody is stronger than Mommy. So she won with no, with no tension at all. No drama, no twist. She just won. So, uh, White Men Are Evil. Sorry, I forgot to mention his first name. White Men Are Evil is his last name. His first name is All. So, All all White Men Are Evil. He uh, brings this uh, vaguely ethnic uh, Marine. And uh, he's written like a simpleton. Oh, by the way, these are the uh, action sequences. Flat panels. She kicks him. Mommy's strong. And then even though she fought all of Camp Pendleton in the last issue, we're supposed to get excited because some photo referenced SWAT guys. And then this is this is a joke. Mommy's so strong, she doesn't even have to fight the bad mans. He's off panel. Just like my dad. Huh. <sighs> So that's that's the joke. We're getting a lot of silly Tom King here. So uh, do you remember the funny joke where she was at the desk and the guy didn't know? And then he was like, what? Well, this one, she throws her tiara and then she yawns because men are so easy to beat that she's sleepy. She, do, do you remember when you're sleepy and you rub your eyes? Yeah. So that means she's sleepy. Whatever. So you see fantastic art, but the, the writing is just absolutely awful and then we finally like again this was like this only needs to be like a three page scene it's a three scene (laughs) scene so then uh he gets the lasso of lies so there was only one part that i thought was actually well written so he's 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 trying to do some kind of like i don't know like incel recruitment thing where he's like 
you were beat by a woman. Doesn't that, doesn't that hurt you? You were beat by a woman. He's just like, bro, we got dog walked by a superhero. It happens. Like, we actually expected to lose. Like, she's a superhero. And she's not just a superhero. She's like, I mean, come on. Like, we were shooting five, five, six at her. Like, be fucking for real. So then, this, this, is, this is the backwards from the punchline. Oh, men don't like strong women. Well, Tom King, you sure seem to be a fan. Everybody clap for Tom King. He's a male feminist, which is both a description and a warning. Um, so then he, <laughs> the funny thing is, he's like, oh, my commander told me to come to this old creepy white dude's mansion so he can basically admit that he's the devil. <laughs> and I'm just going to stand here. And it's funny, like he pulls out some rope and he's like, oh, this is some gay shit. <laughs> but he's just like, oh, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. And then he lets him, okay, this is more of uh, Mommy So Strong. And uh, God, I got to skip some pages so I don't show the entire thing. But um, it's just so poorly written. And then in the, I'm like, who could possibly like this? Because... Tom King is not the Tom King of, what, 2018? He's not selling 60, 70, 80,000. But he does sell better than average. Like, his stuff is not selling, like, 12,000, which a lot of DC Comics are, or they were the last time we had sales figures. Um, so I looked into the, um, the uh, comments here. And so uh, he does have an audience, and his audience is simpletons specifically of the male and female feminist variety so people are literally like i don't like those men i hope she punches them like that's literally the comments are like that so it's it's simpletons simple simpleton women who want to be like oh men are bad but wonder woman will get them and then male feminists um uh who are like yeah we're all bad except for me you can trust me I'm demi bisexual, so <laughs> so I got to skip some pages. Um, but again, every every single thing is written backwards from the punchline. So he wanted he wanted to do uh, it's like uh, I have an army, I have a Hulk. So she has a I have an invisible jet, and like it just takes forever. Like you literally know the punchline. During the setup, you're like, okay, I, sh God, it's going to be, it's either going to be a member of the Justice League or like the whole Justice League or like all the Amazons. It's going to be, she's going to, she's, she's going to do, we have a Hulk. Like that's, that's, and of course we got to get the reaction where the man's like, Ooh. then we got the, we get the simpleton, uh, vaguely ethnic Marine who, uh, once he touches the lasso of lies, then he's like, he writes this. <laughs> I'm just laughing because this does not look like a like a regular sheet of paper, like from a notebook, like from a school notebook. I guess it's kind of midway between that size and the size of stationery from a hotel. But like, look how large his letters are. <coughs> In her actions that day, Wonder Woman denied my rights as a man to exist in this world. So... This is the really, really tacky storyline. Men hate women. Oh, we find one simpleton marine who's like, hey, I got my wig rocked by a god, goddess. Like, it happens. So then he touches the lasso of lies and it turns him into an incel. And he kills himself because he was humiliated by a woman. And then, like, we get this other running kind of punchline about, like, uh, Oh, uh, who's the father? Like, and then it's like, what? so, okay. So, so at this point, like, I'm just, I'm really annoyed, but it's par for the course. It's Tom King. It's mommies are strong. Daddies are gone. Um, men are bad except for me. Um, but, uh, so, okay. So I got to the end, so I'm happy, but then I'm looking over here and I'm like, wait, there's a lot more in this comic. So then there's a Super Sons story written by Tom King. It's like, I do not want to see what he does with Super Sons. And holy shit. 
obviously, again, I spent years trying to avoid talking about this man's family, but he makes everything about his family. Like in his interviews, he just talks about his mom and his wife all the time. So he wanted to marry his mom. So he married a woman who, it's, come on, it's Tom King. So anytime there's men and women, it's always the same. Mommies are strong, mommies are good, daddies are gone, daddies are bad, daddies are weak. Then he writes a story that has no grown-ups. And it's like it's a completely different person. You've heard of the three Jokers. Now learn about the two Tom Kings. So obviously, raised by a single mom, daddy's gone, marries a woman who is effectively his mom, mommy wife. He's all messed up in the head in regards to grown-up relationships. But apparently, he can write just kids and it's kind of weird, like Superboy is, he's been aged up. And even like Damien is calling him Superboy, but he's like, I've been Superman for like five years. In the continuity of the DC Universe, I think he's been Superman for like one year. And it's over. Whatever. Again, Tom King is a walking Elseworlds. But you're noticing you're like, oh, it's it's just kind of fun. I mean, it's not like... Perfect. I think Superboy, his voice is a little off. But like, okay, first of all, the art is amazing. And then like the story, it's a very simple premise. It's basically like, you got to babysit her. I'm going to go stop a, I forget what the natural disaster was. But then right here, it just becomes like normal dialogue. And like Damien's looking out for her. I forget who this is. This is like Wonder Woman's niece or something. Fantastic art, but like I kept going to the end to say like, oh, it was probably like like story by Tom King, but like plot and dialogue by Peter J. Tomasi. Like it's it's not Tom King. But if you remember, I believe during the beginning of the the lockdown, he wrote this Superman story in one of those anthologies five years ago, whatever, four years ago. And it was like, he's actually pretty good at Superman if it's just Superman. Um, and so uh, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> you know how there's that saying like, keep this person away from kids. Keep Tom King away from adults. He can write kids just fine. Like I say, it's a little off in the voice. It's a little like, middle-aged man trying to write youth. Uh, I noticed it the most with uh, Superboy, with uh, Damien, and this. they call her Wonder Robin. Um, that was, I mean, it was kind of cliche, like TV-style writing, but it was solid. Um, and, like, I'm reading this, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, obviously, being raised by a single mom just destroyed Tom King's ability to have any kind of relationship with a woman, but he can write like a straightforward adventure, kind of light, light entertainment, light comedy. I mean, again, the the art is just absolutely fantastic. But we didn't have to get any of those. It's like, and she's so much stronger than us because she's female, just like Wonder Woman is so much stronger because that, no, like we didn't get that. It was just like, oh, it's like uh, we're babysitting, but she's super powered. So, ha ha, she can get into a lot of trouble. Like, that's a that's a story. Like, that's what the hell? Um, and then, uh, like I said, I felt like the dialogue was a little bit off, especially with Superboy. But then when he, he kept saying, like, look, I can go do this. It's going to be very easy. I'm Superman. And then Damien's like, eh. I mean, eh. come on. <laughs> and then he returns and obviously and he says it was sort of trickier than I thought and it's like okay that's that's all you need all you need is for someone to be kind of pompous and say like look I can easily handle this come on and then he's like you just be a babysitter and then he returns he's like yeah that was more difficult <laughs> than I thought 
And then Damien, who actually had more trouble than he thought he would have babysitting, he's just kind of trying to play it off like, oh, you know, it was pretty easy. This, this, is, this, this is a story. This is a story. Th this, <laughs> this is a comic book story that fits in with the broader universe, that fits in with the characters as they are in current continuity and past continuity. It has a simple point. It's it's not funny, but it is uh, it's lighthearted. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't even know if I would call it humorous. It's 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 light fun. Um, fantastic art. Um, where has this where has this Tom King been? Because this Tom King, the second Tom King, I am fine with him staying around in comics forever. More of this, a lot more of this, and none of God, all, he, everything. Some dumb punchline. Oh, his, uh, her, her catchphrase is "No thank you." Like that's I'm trying to find one of her "No thank yous." He thinks that's like so like cool. So she, uh, okay, it was it was somewhere in this conversation, I think. So. The main story, terrible, everything written backwards from a mommy is strong moment. All the men are evil or weak or gullible or stupid or sad or all of the above. And then, I don't know why. I mean, I guess maybe he's obviously making a pitch to write a miniseries or a series about these characters. And all of a sudden, like, he just turns into like a regular writer. So... I think Tom King should only be writing characters who can't vote or rent U-Hauls. What is the age for that? Or, I mean, you understand what I say. Put him on Young Justice. I don't know DC that well. <laughs> Teen Titans. Robin. I think Superboy is supposed to be like 20 now. Maybe 18 or 19. Hell, have him write this Wonder Robin. Carrie Kelly. Whatever she is doing in current continuity. He, he's good at this. This was actually really good. I'm, I'm, you can tell from my voice, I am in shock. So anyway, before we go, first kill graphic novel, link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, I almost forgot. How many people are still here? How many people wait for, I have OCD, so I always wait for the video to completely end. So, I got the stupidest idea in the world yesterday, and I love it. Narwhal is on board, and I emailed Chuck uh, Dixon <coughs> to write it. I haven't heard back from him. And this has two purposes. One is, it's just a funny, dopey idea. The other one is to introduce Narwhal's art style to people who haven't seen it before. Because he's going to write, uh, or he's, he's going to uh, draw, we're going to work on it together, kind of like a Narzek book, a uh, book called... Jawbreaker's Bad Future. And that will come out when it comes out. <laughs> but, um, so this is a story called, uh, well, I'll just tell the premise. So you have two characters, I don't know, they're kind of like uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, or more precisely, like uh, Sugar and Spice from Batman Forever. But kind of visually like Sugar and Spice, but more personality, more like Harley and Poison Ivy. So they're robbing a bank and, you know, they're, they're doing this just like, yeah, we're not just partners. We're partners. And everyone's just like, okay, we get it. You're gay. And then they're like, they're introducing themselves. And the one that's going to look like this, she's like, I'm salt. I make everything more flavorful, just like this bank robbery. And then she goes, and I'm, and everyone in their head is like, pepper, 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 pepper. She's like, I'm sugar. <laughs> and so the whole joke is that everyone, the bank employees, the customers held as hostages, the police negotiator, the SWAT guys, the reporters, and even the jawbreakers, they're just like, why isn't she called Pepper? <laughs> like everyone, nobody cares about the, the bank robbery, the hostage. We'll probably do some elevation. There'll probably be a bomb or something like that. All anyone can say is like, she should really be called Pepper. I mean, you're salt. She should be Pepper.
this Thanksgiving meal, I see salt and pepper and right there on the table and I get this idea like, oh, that would be a good idea for a duo. But like, what if it wasn't pepper, like salt and sugar? Like, I don't know. I told a bunch of people, usually people are like, oh, huh, huh. like everyone loved that. <laughs> everyone loved that idea. It's, I mean, I basically spoiled the whole punchline, but the point is that, uh, Chuck is really, really good at comedy. He wrote the Simpson comics when it sold a lot and he wrote it for like 10 years. Not the only writer, but just he, tons of credits. So I'm hoping he likes this idea and he doesn't think it's too, uh, naff as the Brits say. Anyway, before I, I already did the first kill thing. Did I do the thanks? I didn't think I did the thanks for watching by, oh, this is going to be the new sign off because I've gotten into guitars. And just remember, the nut is not a fret.